Okie dokie. In this problem, they ask us to find the solution to the differential equation using the same method we've been using, that is separation of variables, but now they give us an initial condition. So to just add one more step to the process, we'll still find the function y, um, but in place of c, or I guess like the plus c or the c we usually have out in front of the e term we often get, we will actually be able to solve for given the initial condition. So let's talk through it. We want to follow the same process. So I'll start by getting y prime by itself on the left side and rewriting y prime as dy over dt. And I'll go ahead and simultaneously multiply by 1 over y in order to leave us with just negative t cubed on the right side. So multiplying by 1 over y on both sides leaves us with this. And let's go ahead and jump to multiplying the dt to the right side. If you are getting a little lost on this process, feel free to watch the previous videos on the previous learning path numbers to have more of a, an explanation of what I'm doing right now. Hopefully you have a good grasp on this method at this point, starting this problem. So we are now taking the integral of both sides. So ln of y, absolute value, and then reverse power rule. We want to add 1 and divide by whatever that new value is that we get, and we'll add plus c. And now what we can do is let's go ahead and let's solve for y like we would usually so let's take e and make it the base of both sides giving us y equals e to the negative t to the fourth over four and then plus c in the exponent we could break that up as this e term times e to the c where e to the c is just some constant and so we'll go ahead and throw that constant out in front so we have y equals this c e to the negative c to the fourth over four <clears throat> now the idea is to use this initial condition they are giving us a t value and a y value respectively so we're just going going to plug those in to this function so we'll have seven equals c e to the negative zero Oh boy, negative 0 to the 4th over 4. Really, 0 to the 4th is just 0 over 4 is just 0. e to the 0 is 1. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So it leaves us with just c times 1 equals 7, or c is equal to 7. So if we had our general solution right here, we just plug in 7 where we had the C originally. So we're looking for 7, E to the negative, T to the 4th over 4. It looks like option A. The decimal is a little weird. They often do that at the MPO I, with a lot of the random problems they have. Uh, it just means 7. You can sort of ignore it. Um, that's pretty much it. All right. Let's go and do at least one more. Might have, yeah, just one more for this one. So... Let's talk through it again. We want to isolate y prime by adding 3y. And we'll go ahead and call this dy over dt equals 3y. We want to move the y term over. We'll go ahead and just do the 1 over y situation we usually do. We'll leave the dy. Let's go ahead and multiply the, the dt to the right side. So we'll go ahead and leave the 3 with the dt. Uh, if you wanted to, you could have divided by 3y and then like incorporated it over here. But personally, I think it's easier to leave it on the right side with the t's. So now we are integrating both sides. Antiderivative of 1 over y is ln of absolute value of y. 3 has an antiderivative of 3t. Make sure to add plus c. We'll go ahead and solve for y by taking the e and making it the base of both sides. And we'll skip right to calling y equals c e to the 3t. Now, we will use this initial condition. 
plugging these values in, gives us C E to the three times two, which is six. Uh, so if we solve for C, it would be six over E to the sixth. And so plugging that in to our general solution we found, let's use a different color so it sort of stands out here, e to the sixth. So sort of a strange constant to have out in front. I wonder if they have, okay, yeah, they found the decimal for it. So let's do that next. So we want six divided by e to the sixth. So 0 0.01 five basically so just positive 0 0.015 e to the three t is what we're looking for and so hopefully we got the right one with the positive it looks like option d is our answer okay so slightly different one with kind of a weird decimal value for c but nonetheless the same process if you have any questions on this method or any specific problems you get, please let me know. Hope this helps.